Hi everybody. Um, I'm back to read a book called Whales, Dolphins, and Sharks. I hope you're all healthy and happy and everything's going well for you. All right, so this is a book about whales and dolphins and sharks. Whales are the largest animals on earth. They are mammals that live in the sea. Like all mammals, they breathe air. They exhale or blow off out of a blow hole on the top of their head. The humpback whale is about 50 feet long. It weighs more than 20 tons. That's as much as four big elephants. And that's the humpback whale. Humpback whales make noises that sound like singing. Each male whale sings his own song. Baby whales feed on milk from their mothers. When the calves are larger, they will eat fish and krill. Krill are small shrimp-like animals. And here's another picture of the humpback whale. Now this is about the gray whale. Look at this gray whale in her calf. Do you see all her spots? Some of these are barnacles. Barnacles are small animals with shells that attach to objects in the sea, like rocks and boats and whales. The gray whale can do tricks. It can jump high out of the water, ride waves, roll on its side, and wave its fin. Then there's the bowhead whale. This is the bowhead whale. This big playful whale is a bowhead whale. It has smooth skin that helps it glide through the water. This whale does not have teeth. It has baleen. Baleen is made of stiff hair-like strips. When the whale closes its mouth, the water pushes out through the baleen. The fish and krill stay in the mouth. This one is called a right whale. Well, I've never heard of a right whale. Is there a left whale or just a right whale? Let's see. The right whale is a giant of the sea. Long ago, sailors thought these whales were the right ones to catch. Okay, not right and left. It's like right and wrong. New laws have saved many right whales from hunters. And this one is called the sci whale. S-E-I, never heard of that one either. The sci whale lives in the cold waters of the Arctic and Antarctica. In winter, sci whale whales swim to warmer waters where females give birth to calves. Oh, now this one's one we've probably heard because there's actually books about narwhals, fiction books, fiction narwhal books. I don't think we have any in the library yet. The narwhal is one of the smaller whales. It lives in the Arctic Sea near the edge of the ice. Narwhals have only two teeth in their top jaw. In males, one teeth grow, tooth grows into a tusk. The tusk can be eight feet long. What do you think the tusk is for? Most humans, even like, um, Big basketball players are not eight feet tall. Hmm, I think they probably use that tusk to capture food. Here's the beluga whale. That one was the narwhal. This is the beluga. Beluga whales belongs um, in the Arctic Sea. It has thick fat called blubber to keep it warm. A beluga skin is white. This makes it hard to see a beluga around the ice. The beluga makes interesting sounds, chirps, whistles, squawks, and clicks. Ooh, here we have the orca. The orca is sometimes called a killer whale. It is not really a whale. It's a very large dolphin. Like other dolphins, the orca has teeth. Orcas are smart hunters. 
They live in groups called pods with six to 30 other orcas. Here's one called, this is a Riso, Riso's dolphin. Hmm. This animal looks like a small whale, but it is a dolphin. Its skin is covered with white scars. They get those scars from battles with other dolphins and also from squid, their favorite food. Riso's dolphins like to swim in deep, warm water and hunt in groups side by side. And if you look carefully, you can see the white, like scratch marks on its body. Dolphins are lively animals. They often leap out of the water. They also like to ride the waves in front of ships. If you've ever been on a dolphin watch anywhere, maybe at Cape Cod or somewhere, um, they, they have those dolphin watches where the dolphins jump out of the water right in front of you. Dolphins live in pods. They hunt for schools of fish or even squid or octopuses. Dolphins are smart and curious. Sometimes they swim up to scuba divers and travel alongside them. And here's one right alongside a scuba diver. Oh, then we have a striped dolphin. The striped dolphin has dark lines on its body. These dolphins are good acrobats. They can jump high above the water and do amazing flips. Like other dolphins, they sleep while swimming slowly on top of the water. They keep their heads out of the water to breathe. Their tails move even when they're asleep. Then there's the common dolphin right here, called the common dolphin. The common dolphin is a fast swimmer. These dolphins like warm ocean waters, but they sometimes swim into rivers. In spring, the females give birth to calves. When a calf is tired, the mother lifts it onto her back and swims along the top of the water. Ooh, here's a blind river dolphin. The blind river dolphin has tiny eyes. It uses other senses to find its way through the muddy river water. Long ago, many of these dolphins lived in the big rivers of India but none have been seen for a long time. Amazon River dolphins live in the rivers. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we have the Amazon River dolphin. Amazon River dolphins live in the rivers of South America. Their skin color can be dark gray, light gray, or even pink. It's very hard to catch one of these dolphins with a net the dolphin senses the, chump, the trap and jumps over it. That's a smart dolphin. Here's what we call a white tip reef shark. Sharks are not mammals. Sharks are fish. They do not need to come to the top of the water to breathe air. Do you see the small white tip on this shark's back fin? right there. This gives the shark its name, the white tip reef shark. And here we have the great white shark. Whoa. The great white shark is very big. It can grow to more than 30 feet long. This shark hunts for fish, seals, and turtles. There are rows and rows of sharp teeth in its huge mouth. It likes to hunt in deep waters, but sometimes it comes close to shore. Yes, we have to watch. Those are the ones we don't like, um, the great white shark. And now this is the tiger shark. Baby tiger sharks have stripes that look like tiger stripes. As the sharks get older, they lose these stripes. Tiger sharks, like all sharks, have no bones. They only have firm tissue called cartilage. 
This one now is the hammerhead shark. The hammerhead shark has a head that looks like a hammer. Each end has an eye and a nostril. This shape helps the shark see and smell and move well through the water. Sometimes hammerhead sharks get together in groups of 100. This is called a stingray. Stingrays are related to sharks. Like sharks, they have no bones. They are flat fish with wide fins. They flap their fins to move through the water. Stingrays can grow up to be six and a half feet long. The stingray has a sharp barb on the end of its tail. Right there. It has poison in this barb. When this, <coughs> excuse me. When the stingray strikes with its tail, it stings. Here we have a Monterey. This huge flat fish gets its name from the Spanish word manta, which means coat or blanket. A Monterey can weigh up to 3,000 pounds. The Monterey usually glides slowly along, but it can also jump out of the water. And our last one in the book is the whale shark. This big animal can live 100 to 150 years. It's not a whale, it's a shark, a whale shark. It's the biggest fish in the world. It swims through the water and gulps food in its large mouth. Whales, dolphins, and sharks sure are amazing. So I decided I would read a nonfiction book um, in case some of you just want to learn a little bit more about whales or dolphins or sharks or you don't really want to hear fiction today. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned a few things. And um, remember, when you're staying home, try to make time to read and stay healthy. See you soon.